but we are fast approaching $2,500 a month in reoccurring revenue with the new strategy that I have employed in my business. And I keep seeing people talking about how HTML, CSS, I'm not a software developer, I'm not a web developer, whatever, yada, yada, yada. I don't really care, man, because yes, I never made it as a software developer, but my business does generate income and soon it will be able to pay most of my bills reoccurring. Now, as you guys know, I started this business with just selling one and done websites and I've been really focused on turning it into a monthly reoccurring revenue. So I've made less money on the front end. I don't charge as much to get started, but I get long-term payouts. <clears throat> but I get payouts in the long term because I want to increase my cushion each month because I don't want to go back to working a regular job. I know I took that sales position I'm moving on to another sales position or maybe getting into real estate. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens, but it's been really good. But the point is, is that I did go to a coding boot camp. I did learn about object oriented programming. I did build some actual software. However, the thing that the only thing that has brought money to my pocket is my skills with HTML and CSS. I've moved to website builders currently on go high level right now. That's where I'm migrating all my customers to. So new customers plus past customers. I'm probably about halfway through with converting all my past clients into monthly paying clients. It's actually been easier than I thought. Uh, I thought this was going to be a struggle, but I still have some clients that just pay me for the yearly hosting fee. So with all that added together, we are, we are very close to $2,500 a month, which is insane to say because ultimately it's html and css that's helping me when i build these websites out um, but i say all this because people are always running their mouth they always got an opinion and i really just i don't care i don't care about your opinion because what's happened to me in my face what is happening to me in my life those are things that matter and i and i was unable to secure a software developer job I was devastated. I'm still paying a massive amount of money each month just for the loans for that school. It sucks. I feel like a failure in that aspect, but on a flip side, I'm still making money doing this stuff, right? I'm able to do this work from anywhere I want. And that's the real goal is to have higher income and more freedom, which is kind of what led me into doing this to begin with, right? Like I had my back against the wall. I just, I just didn't know what to do, man. I have a family to support and now I have a new member of the family, which he's doing great, which is kind of why the videos have been slowed down. I've been extremely busy. Plus we're going back and forth to the hospital. He has been in the hospital since he's born, hoping he'll be coming home here very, very soon. We start bottle feeding this week, this week coming up, maybe today when you see this video, we probably already started getting off track. Sorry. But it really is possible to make money with just HTML and CSS knowledge in 2025 going into 2026. People are crazy, man, you know, and and honestly, I don't want a real job. I keep seeing a lot of stuff about people saying like, "Oh, I wouldn't hire you because of this and that." Whatever, man. If you want to build stuff in code because you enjoy it, that's you. My whole goal is to provide a better life for my family. And that means being free. I don't want to be rich, although it would be nice, but I want to have that freedom that comes with remote work, working for yourself, being able to go anywhere and just work and make money, a good amount of money. Because I'm currently the sole provider of my family right now, because now my wife is not going to be going back to work probably for the next two years. Um, and we have a baby that is extremely premature and I don't know what that looks like. I, I don't, when he comes home, I don't know what that looks like. If he's going to have issues, if there's going to be a lot more stuff that entails, or if it's going to be normal, I have no idea. And it is very scary. But what I do know is I'm working every possible angle that I can to provide for my family. And I really don't care about the negativity that I hear from people. God bless. Anyways, so we 
I took the job, the sales job. It did very well. Um, I made very good money. They made some changes. I'm not making money like I was. Um, so I'm thinking about switching companies or trying something different, but I was able to put money back into the stock brokerage that I use Robin hood. And I've done okay with that. I've been messing with trading options lately, which I've kind of always traded options, but not to the degree that I have over the last few weeks. Um, it's been nice. I don't know. I might be bringing some content about that. Just kind of following that journey because I'm trying to build that portfolio up. And then I'm also thinking about getting my real estate license, but I don't know. I'm real on the fence on that. I, I don't know. I don't know. But the point is, is that I want more skills to sell. Um, maybe I should just double down more on, on my business with selling websites. It's just it takes money to make money, right? And you have to spend a lot on ads to get people to come in, which I've had some experience with. It's just, it's a lot. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking about maybe this week running a few more ads, but referrals are pretty big for me. I'm getting lots of referrals, but ultimately, man, it's just HTML and CSS. You can make money if you can just solve a problem. The problem can be whatever. And that's the whole point of it is that learn how to solve problems for businesses and people and you'll make money. It doesn't matter if it's HTML, CSS. It doesn't know if you know polymorphism. It doesn't matter. The point is, is can you solve a problem? And I can solve some problems. And I'm also learning that I'm actually pretty good in sales. So I think I want to explore that a little bit more. Uh, I don't know what that looks like, man. I'm still trying to find what works best, what gets me you know, my goal was $20,000 a month and my goal was $100,000 in the bank. And uh, I'm just going to do whatever I got to do to get there, man. It doesn't matter. It, it just does not matter, right? Like I'm going to figure out a way to get there. And I know that I don't want to follow the traditional path of most people, which is why I do all these different things, man. I, I don't want to follow that traditional path. I want to live a life different than probably anybody I know in real life. You know, the more I think about it, I'm like, who do I even know that's living a life like I want to live? Maybe a few, but very few people I know in my real world that are living the way that I want to live. And I'm willing to put the work in. I'm willing to go through the failure. I'm willing to be embarrassed. It doesn't matter, man. I'm going to make it happen. Um, what about you, man? What kind of goals and stuff are you guys working on? Like, what is your dream? What is your Why? You know, I got this new vision board up of, of my goals that I look at it every day, just there. But man, the my pro, but the point of all this is, is that the process that I use to get clients for my web development agency, it still works. Even though now I'm doing it a little bit different, it still works. Referrals are picking up even more. Um, I'm averaging a new client every three weeks without doing anything. At this point, when I run ads, I get a few too, but I haven't really been doing that just because I've been so busy that I got two clients back to back, uh, two new clients back to back, and I almost couldn't keep up just because there's just so much going on. Plus that sales job I was working was just taking up all my time. Um, yeah, so I don't know, man. I just wanted to make a video, get it out there, let you guys know that I'm still alive. Uh, we're coming up on $2,500 a month in the agency. And I know that sounds like small potatoes to some people, but to me, that's huge, right? Every month after I get everybody onboarded and going, it's passive. It's passive after that, semi-passive because I do some work, but it's mostly passive after that. And this is really nice. And I'm just, I appreciate the people that really told me to focus on that because it's growing, it's growing, right? I'm not making as much money in the immediate, but I'm stacking those little wins each month. And I don't know. I'm excited, man. I'm still trying to figure some things out. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know, man. Love you guys. Later.